a welcome to doing up my scooter. I bought this Honda Silverwing. It's a 400cc scooter. And it's, uh, it drives really nicely, but it's in poor shape. As you can see, it's a lot of uh, cosmetic damage to it. And uh, I bought myself some uh, wrap, carbon fiber and some silver. Never done wrapping before. And I bought a lot of it because I knew it was going to take a bit of effort to get it done. First thing I'm starting with is this piece here. They've, they've actually drilled an extra hole in it. There's a broken bracket here and they've drilled a hole here too. So I've taken that off. And I see I've got to repair this one. It's gone. So I'm trying to make one like that from the bits and repair those holes. That's my first part. Probably wrap that in the carbon fiber. We'll see. Keep you posted. So there you have it. I have the uh, aerodite happening. This is aerodite. Um, Dad introduced me to aerodite in the 70s. It uh, works really well, strong as. It should hold it in place. I've got a tape there at the moment and I'll reinforce it afterwards when it's stuck. At the moment, it's uh, very fluid. And then after that I'll fill the holes, sand it and see if I can't put some vinyl on it. That'll be the tough part. I got off uh, the windscreen. It was easy and the uh, pier was successful. On there, a new one. And into place, that's great. Uh, this is a problem. It hooks on to the Lamps, so and that piece is snapped off. See, you can see it snapped off. That is a problem. Don't know how to fix that. Um, to get the rest of this off, it's a mission. You can see it's all loose. But I have to get to the screws at the back, I have to take the guard off. To get the guard off, that's no problem, but this, uh, Alan, or this nut, the bolt, I should say, this bolt has stripped out the Allen key spun inside it. The rest are all gone, but I have to dash that one off somehow. Then I'll get this off, and this off, and then we'll see how we go. It's a pain in the neck. I wish I'd never started it. So I've got the nut out using a bit of brute force, a chisel and a hammer, or the bolt I should say, and now you can see that it's, uh, it's stuffed. Yeah. But then I found out that actually I had the wrong size Allen key in it, and it was slightly bigger. So this is the one I used here. That's the correct one. So it was actually my own fault. I'll we'll have to get a new one of those somehow. It's not going to be easy, I imagine. Well, I've got it all off. Here's the uh, main bit, the front ends uh, off. Found an interesting bit of wiring here. It's not attached to anything. This is the one that does the headlights and everything, but no idea what that is. Uh, these uh, little rivets here, well, I call them rivets, they're plastic. Single use things, they're a pain in the neck. Um, I think you must have to drill them out to get them off because I had a hell of a job. And in the process, I uh, broke the mounts, as you can see. So it's another repair job. And I have one piece, I have one piece, I can use that to repair it. I'm looking for the other piece now, so I've swept up a little rubbish in the carpet here. I'm going to go through that to find another piece. This reminds me of when I was a teenager with my motorbikes. I only did it because I had to. I didn't enjoy it. Sometimes I was driven to tears. But we'll get there with patience. So there's the broken pieces. I found, I found the bits of it, and then I've got a couple of washes there. I used to reinforce it, and then I'll type those in and tape them in place. See how that goes. And then I'll just start on repairing those pieces, and I might start uh, wrapping those before I go any further, demolishing this bike. There you go. 
got a place for the tape. It should uh, cure nicely overnight. We'll be ready for some work tomorrow. To show it. I've washed all the pieces down, you know, all the grease off it. I've got to do a little bit of filling to do, a little bit of sanding of the scratches. Okay, deep ones I have to fill. I have to fix this hole in my headlight. That's where the uh, top of the fairing fits. And then I have to also fill it up this little corner here. And fill this hole as well, but I'm going to have to screw that down because I can't get any other way to hook that in. So I'll prep the guard, the sanding. It's ready to go that one. The rest, I'll just get the bike clean as well, get the grease off it to get the rest of the panel off. I'm peeling this fake uh, chrome off this uh, muffler. It's a bit sharp, it's cut me down. Um, it's actually, uh, this is metal, but this is plastic, and it was in bad condition. It's all damaged down here, and someone tried to touch up a bit of uh, uh, touch with the paint. So I think that that won't get too hot. I better put a bit of wrap on that. If not, I'll just paint it. Took all that fake chrome off. Very sharp. I've got uh, a few cuts from it actually. Uh, a bit more severe than a paper cut, but not much more. I'm going to give it a wipe down with some isopropyl alcohol that I have had for 20 years for a compact disc cleaning solution. It's enough for that job. And I've cut a piece of vinyl out. Got my squeegees ready. I fitted it because I saw a YouTube video that's easy to apply. Uh, this is cheap Chinese vinyl wrap. We annoyed me that the cheaper the stuff, the harder it is to put on. The better stuff is more expensive and easier to put on. Got myself all ready to go here. So let's do it. My first piece of vinyl wrapping. bubbles out. You can see it's got a protective film on it and these are the holes to bolt back on again. Um, I painted them black so that uh, I knew I could have to cut around it so the black would be quite good to paint the black first. And then I'm going to use the hair dry here to do the stretching around the corners. And I think I'll take it off again to uh, do the corner the edges. It's easier to work with. go it's on but uh, it's pretty average the um, bubbles are supposed to come out it's supposed to be a system where the bubbles get out but it doesn't work so there are one or two bubbles in it that I just couldn't get out I pulled it off and on five or six times but overall that looks good but I'll probably do that again but it was a good practice run anyhow uh, I think I do need to get a better quality vinyl doesn't uh, behave like it's supposed to. They said the bubbles would come out, but they don't. I filled that hole in the lamp so I can put a tidy, a smaller screw on. I built up the nose of that fairing there with some aerodynamic and I'll give it a wee sand and look much better. Other than that, that's, for it. that's me for the day. Uh, very frustrating to not get it on perfect, but it's my first piece. I'll probably. Uh, Better as I go. Well, I got all the uh, pieces off. The um, key or uh, well, the lock for the seat was a bit tricky to get that off the cable. I remember working with cables like that back in the 70s on my ESL 100 and CB 350. If, so that wasn't too much of a problem. I suppose getting it back on is going to be the next issue. Here are the rear panels, they were much easier to get off than the front panels. 
more than a lot of issues. Uh, this is it's broken there. In this case, I didn't break it, it was just sitting there broken, so I will have to get that back on again. Not a big deal. These, this Honda stick is going to come off. These uh, silver wings have to come off now. I thought maybe they were right through, but I can't feel anything under here. So I imagine they are just stuck on, so I better heat them off. It does leaves, just this piece here are going to do something with, and of course the lower fairing. And of course I have to do this fairing, which is uh, scary. The repair went well on the on the fairing here. You can see the, the piece I made with Aerodite. Filled the hole. That looks good. Headlight. Headlight holes filled as well. Just waiting on some red vinyl. So I might just do a red, silver and carbon fiber. Well, they both came off relatively easy. Um, I suppose the next problem is going to be this sort of bluey stuff we've got to get off here. I mean, oh no, it seems to rub off quite It seems to be uh, quite, let's say, oxidized or decayed. Get that off, I'm sure. So, that's just about all the panels off. Repair that, get the Honda off here. And redo that, of course, because it's not so great. Think about what I'm going to do with this part here. It's not smooth. I'm not sure if um, the vinyl goes on there. It's because it's a little bit textured. Might spray paint it. The dash is also textured. Didn't clean that up. And I suppose I have to start on that, which is what I'm actually uh, putting off, procrastinating, and doing everything else but this because this looks like a nightmare to wrap. reasonably well, I can still see it there's a residue on there, a little bit of residue on there. I'm going to try and uh, clean it off with some meths. I imagine isopropyl alcohol will be better, but I don't have it because of lockdown I can't go and get it. See how it goes with this. I didn't get a lot done yesterday, but I did get the rest of the fairing off, as you can see here, the bottom portions. A sort of a deep scratch needs to be filled. It's quite deep and a bit of roughness there. This is the crack in the fairing there. I did repair that. And possibly a bit of filling on the, these scrapes. I have done it with these. These are all, all the deep scratches are filled. On that one. Some builder's bog because I didn't have anything else, and because of the lockdown, we, um, I can't get anything else. So it's all done, and that whole hole is fixed now. So it's all done. So it'll just be a matter of cleaning those up, getting them ready. I'm going to place them on the bike and sort of decide on the colour scheme. Just sticking the uh, fearing back on just to get an idea of how to do the colour scheme. And I'm thinking that. Um, Front guard here and carbon fibre, leave it back as is, so we just do this piece. And uh, this will be carbon fibre. And so with this piece here, then this will be red here, down here carbon fibre, and it'll cut carbon fibre to this point and I'll take this line down here. And then this will be silver. That probably I won't do anything with at this stage. It's a, it's a pretty solid piece of metal and 
Looks like it's part of the hole in the motor and we'll see. Um, I'll have to spray paint that. Then carbon fiber right up here, red underneath. Paint this black. I've got the box on top and I think probably just do carbon fiber on that. This is all. I haven't decided yet. I've just got to see how it looks, try to measure how it looks. waiting for the red vinyl to arrive. Uh, cleaned up these, cr these old scratches, deep scratches, just smeared a bit of bog into that. I'll sand that off, that will make a nice smooth area for the wrap to go on. Maybe it's a clean up. Sand and the same to this one. Just a bit of damage from the scratch off the wall. And we've got these cracks here, I'm gonna do that one up. It's not, that was, he's not so bad. It's only small, but here's a little bit. So I thought maybe I could glue some strengthening or reinforcing behind it. Here's this uh, old milk bottle. Plastic. I'll try anyhow. My hope is that it, it sticks there and strengthens it up. And I've got some ideas to clamp it on if it doesn't. Let's see how it goes. So that's all done. The milk bottle pieces are in there. Clamp them on. Some office stationary clamping things. This weight here is putting pressure on it to close the gap. It's leaning against that. It pushes against and closes the gap. I'll get that cure and that should be bright as rain. Ready for preparation tomorrow. Red vinyl arrived today. It's a little bit light. A little bit light. When you buy things online, it's hard to tell what the real color is going to be. So everything's sanded and prepped. One small repair to do on that piece. The rest is done. I'm going to give it a clean off with the compressor. I bought the compressor cheap and it had a blown head gasket. It cost me $90 to buy it. Probably another $90 to get it going again. Sam, you've got it going for me. It's all charged up, ready to go. I'm going to give these dust off, wipe down with meths, and then I'll start wrapping them. Right, I'm just gonna, this is all cleaned up. Just gotta wipe it down with some mess or alcohol. I'm going to uh, mask this out and spray this black. Uh, because it's a lot of awkward angles to do a wrap. Especially if it's the first time. So both those will be marked out. And then I'm gonna use this uh, 3M finish line knifeless tape. I'm going to run that around here so this will stay the way it is. I looked over the whole fairing to find pieces of silver I could leave that would match on both sides and there is not a panel that I can leave um, only the, the top of the tail light because each one side is damaged the other one's okay so I can't leave any of the original without one side being scratched or damaged in some way. So I'm going to put the finish, this nice tape around here, mask this out, paint these black, decide on the final color combination. I want to do it in a couple of pieces. I'd like to do a piece here and then another piece here or a piece here and another piece here, like three pieces, but I'll probably have to go for two. I don't like the red enough to have too big a piece of it. So I've masked out the holes. This is not a, a definitive line, it's just to keep the overspray away from the rest of the fearing. I'm not sure how the um, rat will react to paint, fresh paint. So I thought just for precaution's sake, just keep it away from everything. So those lines are rough, but I'll do the job. And uh, here's the uh, sorry, sorry, 
knife stage, knife stage. Other than their contour, you know, one thing I've learned is that it doesn't like being there. You can see this one here, the tape that can come away from the wires coming from the tape here. So, not so easy on curves. Good idea. The idea is, um, is you put on the wrap and you over, go over the tape and then you grab the end of it and you pull it off and it cuts the uh, wrap nice and neat. That's the theory. We'll see how that goes. I don't know what it was either. I just saw it listed knifeless tape and thought, oh, what that is. And sure enough, that's what it's for. So I'm going to use it for there and I'm going to try and use it for this contour here. Silver and then they're wrapped. But I don't know how that's gonna go. So I'm just gonna spray these, these eyes and things black. Oops, that's silver. <laughs> it's funny. Wrong colour. Let me just go get the right one. The right can now. It's black. Um, I'll usually uh, spray paint this whole project. Um, as I've been preparing it, I've been wondering why I didn't do that. But I think it's because the finish I'm going to get the vinyl is going to be better. Also, I want to learn how to do it. Okay, so I want to use it again on something else. So it's a bit of a learning curve thing. It's really not the quickest way to do something up. Especially with, with all the repairs I had to do. I imagine the pristine finish, you could leave it as it is, put the vinyl on, and you would never damage the finish. You can change all the time. Not in this one, though. I can change it, but the finish is stuffed. There you go. Get it dry now. Put the nicest tape down here, and down here. This is going to be red. Carbon fiber, red carbon fiber. Got a seam here, make it easier so that piece has to only go to here. I don't have to wrap it right around just to make it easier. Same on the other side, so let's see where that goes. Uh, painting like that, okay. Now I'm going to make some little templates for what vinyl I have to cut out so I don't cut out too much. It's uh, hard to handle. Well, I've only had experience doing one piece and have too much vinyl, it seems to be hard to handle. So, the idea is to do this, overlap it, do this, overlap it, same again here, and then just pull the tape and it makes the butt joint. So, here we go. So, I've cut out the uh, rough templates for the uh, fairing, the red for here, carbon fiber for here, and here. And of course this is the left side, I'll turn that over and I'll do it for the right side. And that's the right bottom and top left, I'll turn those over and I'll cut out for the other side. So that's the first piece on the fairing gone on. Uh, this is the knife just take. So just make the line up here. First I've got to do this piece that overlap it and cut it. Point, point. Here is a, a tricky point there. And just a little bit short on the um, cutting here. I'm a little worried, my pull back. But, uh, oh, that's pretty good. I'll 
Uh, this one uh, was hard to put on. You can see ear bubbles, just a few little ear bubbles embroidered. I work try and get those out. It's quite sticky, it's hard to, it's a bit of a difficult thing with this inside curve. But anyhow, see this, it ripped below the line, so that cannot be um, covered up. If I rip that, it's going to be a crap. Yeah, it's, it? yeah, it's very hard to get around this nose too, so. That is a fail, unfortunately. A bit of a pity because it was a lot easier to get that like that. Well, I uh, just did a bit of stretching and got that tear above the line. That did mean quite a bit of stretching and left a few marks. You can't really see on the camera probably. So I stretched right around to this point and uh, done the overlap, of course. And I got the string ready to. Uh, pull across. This is a wire I should say. I'll spring and pull it right across. Done. That should mean you know, I can peel the red off. Pretty happy with the way all this went out. I've been trying to salvage this line off, but I don't have to do it again because it took such a lot of effort. So I've put that at the front, tidied up the vent, and I've just touch up some black here because I've put it back too far. I've trimmed off the bumps, and what I'm going to experiment with is the strike. Yeah, uh, it's not what I planned. But it doesn't look too bad. The uh, sort of carbon fiber red with a stripe. A stripe to cover up the damaged area, pull back area, and generally mess the area. Now, if it doesn't work, I'll put it all off and do it again. But if I can get away with it, it's going to really save me having to do all this one again, which is actually very difficult. For my third piece of vinyl fitted ever. But, uh, I'd love to try and save it if I can. So I've done some lifeless tape edging. Yeah. The silver vinyl wrap on that. It may work, it may not. Just worth a try. Yeah, there's my stripe. Um, I think it looks really good. I think the only challenge is, is to match that stripe on the other side. Same dimensions. And then, with a close look, you can actually still see bumps. But in general, from say here, I think it looks really good. So, I'll carry on. So, I've uh, masked out the vent because my cutting around wasn't very good. Um, I've trimmed it up and it exposed some of the silver, getting a better light. So I'm going to spray paint that black again. And I'll go on a bit of the vinyl and whatnot, and then I'm going to feather it once it dries a bit with a bit of the mess in the cloth just to soften up the light. That's my plan. Let's see how it goes. First, I'll go spray it. So there we go, now I have to let that dry. Once it's tacky, I'll then uh, pull everything off. And with the cloth and some mess, I'll just feather around the edges just to wear them down so that it looks more natural. 
Yeah, that works with your last one. So you can see that coming up. See that it's all uh, fixing that to do. Put that up. Also here. That line is great. So I've just got some cloth here. There's some myths. It's be hard to hold the camera, I might have to just put the camera down. Go see you uh, Well, that was going really well. Um, I'd like to have made good progress on applying vinyl on that side. And, uh, but what happened was I trimmed it away and cut a few relief marks down this end. And then I was stretching a tear. And the tear. I tried to stretch a tear out, but it got so bad that. There's a whole hook missing from here, and I just uh, I ripped it off, and I'll start it again. So, uh, just to make things a little bit easier to relax, I'm going to spray paint the front guard. This is the back end of the guard. It sits underneath the uh, fairing on the headlight. So, just this part here. Spray paint luggage rack and handles. The pillion handles are black. I don't see the point of wrapping those white wrap. Things that are very difficult. It's hard enough as it is. You'll never be forgotten. Cause you don't follow the So that's all done. I'll let that dry now. And uh, I hung that up to the back of it as well. It's come out pretty good. And more wrapping tomorrow. Well, on my, on my last piece of red vinyl that I have, uh, I didn't have much red vinyl. It was just a wee small piece I bought. Um, hopefully, he has more in stock. If this doesn't work. And what I've decided to do this time is um, instead of starting here, which looks like it's the easiest area to start because it's flat, and then working this way and constantly pushing, pushing, pushing and stretching, I decided to start here, this flat area here. We work it up, of course it's easy. This should be pretty straightforward. And then the difficult part is this part around the corner, but I haven't had to work all the way to that point, pulling and stretching and then uh, risking damaging the vinyl and ripping it like it is the last two times. So I've already put down the flat here as you can see and it's pretty straightforward. As you can see it's already pretty easy that part. And then you just have to work the hard part around the corner. So here goes. I can see you're confused by everything I say. That's the best that I can do. It's one time at a day. I'm amazed you still choose to live your life this way. You can ride on my shoe, but don't forget to pay. Well, that was a painful experience, so I have trouble with the um, relief cuts. You make a relief cut, then next thing you know, shit tears in it. Did that here. And out of red vinyl, this is the last piece that I could put on. I had a little bit left, but not enough, so I pulled it all off. And then I made a join here. Uh, join up here. 
not entirely up to do here, but yes, you can't see the joint unless you look up at close. But I've ordered some more red. And if it bugs me enough, I'll redo this piece. But this is really tough. This curve here is really hard to work with. I thought I had it, and then there was a cut here and it was gone. So I uh, pulled it off and done a two piece job. Uh, another thing I learned was I, the backing paper, I put the backing paper back on in a few places just to help me work with it. Put it on backwards, and the backing paper backwards is no good. You can actually see a little bit of it left behind on the vinyl here too. So I learned a lot from that piece. It was not enjoyable. The, the temptation to rip it off and screw it up and throw it away was huge. But because it had no left, I thought I'd better make, I'd better finish this piece and see if I can get some more. Anyhow, it's confirmed I can get some more. So I'll move on to the next part. The uh, bottom part on this, and there's the seam. But you see, even though uh, you had the lifeless tape there, it's it's pulled away again. So do I put a pinstripe there? I don't know. I prepared the pinstripe for there. Then I have to do another one on this side. It's not what I had in mind. This sort of reminds me of a real 80s style. So I'm just gonna sit there for a while, leave it, and decide whether I'm gonna replace these red bits. I've ordered some more vinyl. This uh, one has, of course, this cut here. You can see that. So if I do replace it, I don't mind leaving the pinstripe at the top, but then I can overlap onto this and I don't need a stripe. But it means I have to do the same on that side as well. So it means I have to replace both red bits. So I'm just gonna think about that for a bit. I've prepped up the uh, undersides of the fearing. I'm gonna do this part here, carbon fiber at each end. So it's coming down from the top to the bottom and this part tucks under the motorbike so you don't really see this. And I'm going to do that piece black. That's the bottom of the headlight vent. So uh, no point wrapping these, not seen out of the way, and also quite difficult, I imagine. So no need to do that. Just paint the silver and black. Today I tackled the uh, hardest piece, which is the, the guard here, and failed. Uh, I couldn't get it right around. So I opted to cut it out. Top looks great, and I might two-tone it, or I just might uh, just put another piece and layer it. With the seam down the side, you won't see that so much. And also, this was, a, this was also a tricky piece with so many angles. It came out okay as well. Be happy with that. And this is all finished. Finished it yesterday. Unfortunately, you can see this gap here is widening. So either a new seam or a stretch, or I'll um, replace the red. Oops, sorry. Uh, did the uh, bottoms of these as well yesterday. So that is going to be a continuation of that here. That, that hooks up with that piece there. So. And this, this goes underneath the bike. I don't need to touch up the paint on that. It's got a little bit damaged. The other one there too. And I'm waiting for some more red to arrive. Luckily I could order, order some. With the lockdown, a lot of things I can't get. When that's done, I'm gonna have the red up here, over the top, silver underneath there. And, uh, then clean everything up. Might paint the exhaust pipe black down the bottom. Clean the wheels of the alloy and reassemble. 
So we're getting there. We're waiting for other stuff to arrive. I'm going to try and clean up these uh, emblems. I've scraped off all the old glue. Now I'm going to clean it up with myths. And then I'm going to cut double-sided tape onto the uh, silver wing emblems and get them ready for repositioning. So I'm soaking them in some ethylated spirits. This has worked for me before, getting off the sticky um, tape residue, sticky glue residue. And uh, I'll soak that off, up and then try and get the rest of it off and see how that looks. So they clean up really well in the meths and uh, use uh, the double-sided tape. This is Scotch Outdoor double-sided tape and uh, put them on there, cut them around the letters. They're ready to go back on once the final piece of film is put in place. I just buffed up the uh, windscreen and the headlights with my buffer and some glass uh, cream. Come really good. Much better than they were, especially the Especially the uh, windscreen is so much better. I should have taken a before of that one. So I'm just uh, going to show you how this uh, knifeless tape works. You can see it's sitting under the vinyl wrap. And uh, you start it off and you just pull it. And it makes a nice cut that you couldn't do with a knife so easily. See? Well, the guard came out good even though I had to do it in two colours. Um, I could have done one colour with a seam. But I thought I'd just go and do the, the red to uh, match up with the uh, fairing there. I haven't put a silver stripe on top of that seam. I may do, but I'll not decide until I get my whole bit together again, I think. I don't want to make too many bits and pieces. It's raining today, so it's not a very nice day to work outside, even in the, in the shelter. Yesterday I flushed out the radiator and uh, filled it up with coolant, 50% coolant, 50% water and run, ran it until I could hear the fan going and the fan is tucked under here, uh, under here and it wouldn't go. It ran and ran and ran and ran and got to three bars on the temperature gauge. But I gave the fan a flick with the screwdriver and then it started. It's all good now. Today I was going to uh, clear coat the guard and the two under pieces. And the clear coat arrived, here it is here. Uh, unfortunately, I was a bit rough cutting it open and I pierced the tank, <laughs> the spray can, cutting that strap off. And here you can see all the clear coats all leaked out everywhere. So that's a bust, I had to order another one of those that's going in the rubbish. So I wrapped the, wrapped the side cover today and it's the bottom portion, like so. And it has a silver wing logo there. You can still see the faint outline of it. To the top in silver. You can see that it's not so easy. Look at this pulling away there in the corner. A few bubbles to get rid of. And then red on top when the red arrives. Learn a few things. Uh, make sure everything is clean even on the inside. There's a bit of dirt in here. And this foam is decayed so it, it um, rubs off. So that was a problem too, so I learned you've got to cover things like that up and make sure it's thoroughly clean on, even on the sides you're not using, as it's going to cause problems. But it's not too bad, I'll fix that up pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So I see the wrinkles there, but I'll get those out. So I invested in some more degreaser, engine degreaser, brake parts cleaner and wheel and tyre cleaner. To give these a bit of a spruce up, you can see it's pretty dirty. Back wheel as well is uh, not dirty. Let's see how it comes out.
coming off a bit, but not uh, as much as I'd like. So it's pretty ingrained, so I might be taking a few applications. The, the clear coat's finally all leaked out. And uh, see how they packed it? And I just cut the strap off and I cut straight through the can. On the side of the can here somewhere. Yeah. Straight through. $20 wasted. Ordered a new one today. Should be in it probably by Monday. The previous owner touched up the fairing and the bits and pieces you can see here. Touched that up and it, the overspray has gone over the plastic and in here as well you touched up the fairing over here and the overspray is over the plastic and here too you can see the overspray is on the seat so I have got some paint stripper. The um, degreaser, the super cheap degreaser actually strips paint, you can see there. And then I'll just use some rubbing compound and try and get that off there. So let's have a go at this paint stripper. This is the um, acid jelly. If you get on your fingers, it does um, burn after a few minutes, or maybe 30 seconds or so. Just paint that on. It shouldn't affect the plastic. That should strip the paint off. Got a few spots of paint on this dash, you can see there. I tried to rub those out, but they did not come off. Let's see if the uh, yes, can get those off. Let's see how that goes. Now, just to rinse it all off with a bit of water, Let's see what uh, happened. Seems to have taken the paint off the dash. See here. It looks good. Let's go around the other side. Let's check out the seat. And it's gone. It's gone too. Okay, well I'll just continue cleaning that up. I'll show you when it's all done. That cleaned up really well, the paint's gone. Um, still looks pretty motley that plastic though, as you can see. I was hoping the acid would strip it back a bit. Um, on the dash, it's affected the finish. You can see the marks where the acid was. So I'm gonna give that a buff, see if I can buff that out. And I'm gonna give this plastic a buff too, see how that comes out. I've given everything a, a buff with cutting compound, even the seats, all the plastic, the dash, uh, the other side, the drivetrain. Uh, I'm not too confident about this actually, I think. That was a mistake to put acid on that surface. I should have done a few test spots first. I was so confident it wouldn't permanently damage it. I might have made a mistake there, we'll see. So I even tried light sanding and they're still not coming out. It seems that there is a surface on there that the acid has affected. So uh, drastic measures, I have uh, solved it. Just uh, got a sander out and sander it right down. You can see that one. To the point where actually some of the texture is missing, but you don't really notice it. So I'll continue with the rest of it. We have a good lesson there. Test before you do something. There you go.
successfully removed the damage that I caused and the byproduct is I have a very nice shiny dash which wasn't shiny before. Uh, when I, the sandpaper I used was 1200 grit, so super fine, super fine, probably even more fine than an emery board. Uh, still got some white residue on this plastic, I have to figure out how to get that off. Other than that, pretty happy with my result, even though I made a big cock up. One byproduct of spending so time here, so much time here, as I noticed the hell that is in real bad condition, so I could respray it. I thought I'd uh, try and put a bit of vinyl wrap over it, a bit of carbon fibre. This is the uh, last piece I put on. I put that on yesterday using isopropyl spray and water with water. And I tell you why, it was so much easier to get on. You know, it's not perfect. There's still a few bits and pieces of the air the bottle there. But still, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but compared to before. So the top is silver, and the bottom carbon fibre, and the middle will be red, which still hasn't arrived yet. So there's the two side covers. And they're ready to uh, just get the red on, and then they'll be done. This is the reclamping system I've got going on. I'll put a bit of glue behind it, just to uh, uh, tight corners. It's in the areas where you can't see, and uh, I covered up that foam uh, that gave me problems last time. That, that foam there, it's, sort of, it's crumbling, so I cover that up so it didn't crumble and cause bumps. So hopefully that red arrives today or tomorrow and get that finished. Well, the red arrived, and so I've done the uh, side cover. And I've just pulled the um, strings through to cut with the knifeless tape. Such a satisfying um, thing to cut that vinyl so straight. I show you, I can holding one hand on the video and one hand on the side cover. So you just after the knifeless tape, just pull that off. And you get that lovely clean line. You could never do with a free hand with a knife, I don't think. At least I couldn't. This piece on went really well using the uh, isopropyl hole and water. Not too bad. A few lines there. See those lines here? That comes from um, aggressively using the squeegee to push out in lines. But no, I don't think it's going to be a noticeable thing. Living and learning. Two side covers done, basically done. And, uh, the bad news is too much water or isopropyl hole mix damages the finish of the um, carbon fiber. This looks like it gets underneath it and lifts it. Uh, it could be because it's a cheaper product. It could be too much alcohol, so I diluted the alcohol down to 70-30 as Kevin suggested and tested it on a piece and I did it again, still did it. So then I so I, I used it, but I tried not to get any on here, but I got a little bit of, at the end there, you can see. That's not worrying me too much. This is, this looks a bit yuck. So this means it's a redo. Uh, so that's, everything has been done. Now I have to redo this and redo that one piece on the main fairing and then, the, then it's reassemble. I gave the uh, wheels and forks a bit of a polish, not, not uh, too much. The other side's still a bit dirty. I'm gonna have to get something to get that black um, brake dust off. But anyhow, that, it does come off with a bit of elbow grease. I gave the plastic a shine with armor all. It's coming up nice. Seats are done. Looks much better, and I'm very happy with my dash. It's uh, really uh, shiny, it looks really good. Completely different to the way it looked before. Okay, but a total accident. I'm giving this here a bit of a polish up as well. The drivetrain. The red vinyl's arrived, and I'm been working with that, and uh, should be able to finish wrapping tomorrow. I'm going to wrap that piece. It was a tricky piece, so many curves, and uh, 
So you can see there's already lifting in those corners. Even though I prepped it, but I think it's just too much stretch. But I think all that is covered anyhow by the seat, so it won't be seen. That piece next. Some good news. The damage we saw yesterday to the carbon fiber that was caused by the mix of isopropyl hole and water is actually drying out. You can see some of it's still there, but that's way less. It's um, definitely going, which is great. So I don't have to redo that piece, which is good news. I'm just touching up the black parts that are exposed once the fairing is back on. That look a bit tatty, like the kickstands. Give them a good clean up. Just give it a little touch up. Makes all the difference. Get a shiny black. This is another piece that gave me you know, in the grief. Seems to have more trouble with painting than I do with vinyl wrapping. Again, a reactive with the clear coat and whew, made a mess. Ran out of paint. Um, couldn't get any because of the lockdown. Thank goodness Dawn had a can of silver, so I've done that now. And I'm just going to take off the masking. Let's see how it looks. Do the cleaning up to do for the overspray there, but that's not a big deal. That's the new home guard, the new look. So here are most of the pieces all ready to go back on. Still logo's back in place and uh, in the wrong place. I measured the 18 centimeters to here. And then I put wing on, going that way, back into where it shouldn't be. So now it's uh, 10 centimeters, different spot. Your heart will sing in its breath. 